Dodge County Schools showed their support for a high school special education teacher who battled cancer. Our Pepper Baker spoke with her and some colleagues about her passion for teaching. Yes, a few months ago, we tried to do the story highlighting Beth Law's work with Dodge County High School, but she was too sick. I'm so excited to share with you all now that she's back home in recovery and can't wait to get back with her students. We're going to just keep praying that um, if the schools do open up in the fall, I'm going to be back in the house. It comes at no surprise to Joey Jones and Tom Cranford that their colleague, Beth Law, is always thinking about her students. Beth is a very good-hearted person that always puts other people before, before herself. They may need clothing or they may just need some emotional support. And uh, Beth's always one of the first ones to step in and make sure these kids are seen about. They're like family. I spend more time with them than I do my own family. Law's family moved to Eastman when she was 12 years old. She graduated from Dodge County High School and now works with special education students. The special needs kids, the ones that when the wheelchairs, the struggling to see them smiling every day. And I would think that I had a problem and my problem didn't nowhere come close to what they went through every day. She kept that in mind when she was diagnosed with cancer last July. It was stage four um, colon and it had a uh, metastasized. So it didn't look good. It was a scare for everybody. But uh, one of the things that uh, they did, and uh, I'm going to kind of give you a little shot there. I got a Beth Law strong shirt on. Even while undergoing surgeries and four rounds of chemotherapy, she says she had to fight so she could be back with her students. The kids were um, just made me just made my heart melt because they would all come running and Miss Beth, when you coming back? And I, you know, I would tell them, I'm coming, I'm coming back. Even while she was dealing with cancer, she helped raise money for her, one of her students to get his dream bike for Christmas. She says she's working on getting her strength back now so she can return to school whenever it opens. Reporting from home, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. I just love that the community rallied around her. Well, Law is also a bus driver for the school district. She has two daughters and a 14-month-old granddaughter.